Alright, so today is the day I'm going to wire up the micro squirt plug and play. I bought it a few months ago. This is the 24X kit, it's already modified. I paid like $5.50 for it on eBay. Um, most videos you see guys just doing a startup and a running uh, video, which is cool. Everybody enjoys those to see how easy they they run, but um, I'm going to document each step of the setup. I mean, just because the setup is plug and play, there's a couple, you know, little idiosyncrasies we need to figure out here. Um, and you got two wires I'm going to have to put eyelets and maybe an alligator clip. The big fat ones, 12 volt constant, the smaller ones, 12 volt key. They go to the fuse block and the relay block. I'm going to have to rig up a fuel pump and I got the brick the 1999 IBM ThinkPad fired up and I'm going to launch Tuner Studio so there she goes I'm going to get started alright basically all I'm doing is just wiring up the connectors plug and play means exactly that plug and play I'm pointing to the idle air temperature sensor which I moved to the intake driver side bank has the TPS the coolant temperature sensor and the IAT sensor leads as well as your driver side uh, coils and injectors and on the back uh, would be the ground which goes directly to the cylinder head nowhere else to the cylinder head this setup does not use a cam sensor. Oxygen sensors are optional but recommended. No MAF, no knock sensors, and it's easy peasy. Alright, so I got the micro squirt all wired up. As I showed you, very simple, and I'm going to see if I can make it talk to my computer. Um, some people recommend unplugging the coils just because. You don't know if it's going to go through some test phases or whatever. You just probably a good idea just unplug the coils for the time being. Uh, crank sensor's wired up. You can't see it because it's dark as shit. But it's a pretty simple setup. Very minimal stuff. Uh, my battery. Let me get some light here. Let me get some light. I have the ground hooked up. I do not have the starter cable hooked up because I'm not going to be starting it right now. So, my 12 volt main is there. Alligator cloak. I hear relays. Project, my car, firmware. Now you have to detect the firmware. Hopefully this thing doesn't get the blue screen of death. It is old. I may have to use my other laptop. Uh, it's got a serial port in the back, like an old printer. And that serial port plugs in right here the harness via eighth inch stereo headphone jack. Simple stuff. Alright, what do we got going on here? Mind you, I'm, this is the first time I'm digging into this, so we're learning together. I'm playing guinea pig. Except, hopefully I don't get the blue screen of death. Your installation of Tuner Studio does not have a configuration to support the firmware found. Required uh, serial signature. However, this file is available. Blah, 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 blah. Yes. Please download the file for me. Is that it? Self explanatory? Next. New project, wideband, blah, 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 blah. Next. You have to have 12 volts going to the computer in order for all this stuff to work. 
Connection type, COM port, blah blah blah. Don't know anything about this. Well, let's see. I'm seeing something good there, so successful. On to the next. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, we're learning together. And I'm waiting. Oh, what do we got here? Select dashboard. Interesting. Wow, look at all these choices they give us. What's this one? Ah, it's too cheesy. It's Fast and the Furious shit. What am I in a space spaceship? What's default? Oh, good old simple default. Offline can't be offline, and we're in. We're in. Cool temperature sensor. You know this is working. Let's see if I unplug it. If anything happens, oh, sure is working. Ladies and gentlemen, this is some pretty interesting stuff. Throttle position. Let's focus on that. I'm gonna all right blip the throttle and I'm thinking I need to figure out how to recalibrate it's wide open and it's only 90 percent unless unless it's meant to be like that um okay so basically this is where I'm going to stop just to give you guys an idea very simple setup um, harness is simple <clears throat> I mean you can buy this set for this kit for like 300 and 350 bucks and do all the wiring yourself with your own sensors and connectors then you have to modify the box from what I understand the box here has a modification um, they added a couple resistors or jumper wires or something in there to make the ignition circuits work correctly. Um, so my next step, obviously, is to get this thing started. Pretty cool stuff, from what I can tell. Um, I'm trying to make this a valuable video. Some folks might scoff and it's like, alright, where's the thing running? Well, I mean, there's a lot of steps involved to getting it running, even though it is plug and play that some people might be a little skittish of, including myself. This is uncharted territory, even though this is like basically 15, 20 year old technology. I'm going to get a few things for the motor in the next video. I'm going to fire this, uh, this bad boy up. You guys stay tuned.